Hello everyone, Ford DIYers here back with another tutorial video. Now in this particular video here I'll be doing a demonstration on how to replace your headlight bulb or fog light bulb. Now this does apply to the halogen style bulbs, so not the HID versions. And also I will be using a 1997 BMW 540i for this example, but for other vehicles it will be a similar scenario. Now first what we want to start by doing is determining what bulb is burnt out on your vehicle here. Now on this particular one here is my high beam bulb. Now first, if it is your headlight bulbs, normally you can access them from uh, just under the hood. Uh, sometimes you do have to remove the headlight assembly. Uh, it depends on your make and model. And as for the fog light bulb, sometimes you can access them from the top side under the hood or you have to go from the underside of the vehicle. Now basically what we'll be looking for here is just a standard connection in the back side here. You have the wires going to the bulb itself. And what you can do here is just pop the connection out like so. They normally have a tab you do depress or just pull back. As you can see, this one has a tab I do pull back here. And as for the bulb here, all you want to do is just twist out in the uh, counterclockwise position and then just pull it out. And here's the old bulb. Now when purchasing a new bulb, you want to make sure it is the right type of bulb. Now this particular vehicle here for the high beam bulb, it does take a 9005. Uh, some bulbs may look similar, uh, but it depends the... Uh, outlet where the plug does go will be in a different location and sometimes you can see in the inside here they will have different clips on them or different electrical connections in the inside. Now this particular one here is just a single filament bulb. Other vehicles do have a dual filament bulb where the high beam and low beam uh, both serve on the same bulb. Now if you're unsure what size it is um, you can look on the vehicle itself. Uh, there is usually a, a help book uh, when you go to the auto parts supplier to look through or you can have one of the people that work there assist you with finding the correct bulb for your vehicle. Now the new bulbs can be purchased at a variety of places. I just went to my local auto parts store and purchased a new one and there's various types available here. I'm just using a standard style. Uh, you can get other ones that do have a, somewhat of a color to them or uh, have a, um, a brighter illuminance. Now the other thing you also have to worry about too is you want to match the same wattage bulb with the housing itself. If you do increase the wattage, there's a lot of times the newer plastic housings is you do risk the chance of melting them. I've seen this in the past, so that is something you do want to keep in mind. Now when unpackaging the bulb here, you want to be careful not to touch the uh, glass part of the bulb itself. Now what can happen here, oil from your skin can get on the bulb and this will create a hot spot and in turn this will burn it out uh, a lot shorter than what the expected lifespan is uh, recommended for these bulbs. If you do end up touching it, normally what I recommend you do is uh, just using some rubbing alcohol and a clean lint-free cloth and just give it a good wipe down to ensure that there is no oil left over. From As you can see here, I've already reinstalled the bulb here. Now basically what I want to do is just twist it back in the location that goes in a clockwise direction until it stops and then just taking the wiring harness again, simply just plug it back into place and then turn your vehicle on and ensure the light works. Now this concludes the rest of my tutorial video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them. Also, please subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you.